So we have this award for Terra Pie. The award, and what it is, it's something very simple, it's a bag of trash. That's what they get for more than 30 million, almost close to 30 million dollars right now in only, that we found out only the last three months. That's what he gets for not wanting to move forward after being convicted of a racist, of being a racist. And uh, we're gonna give this award to Sheriff Arpaio, so if you could please rise up and come with me. So this is like, this is the best, the best attended community forum so far on what's going on with Sheriff John Arpaio. There was, there was a round of court mandated community forums all across the county. Uh, a lot of them, as you can see from the picture, were very poorly attended. There were only three people here. And uh, at this point, I'm, I'm curious about how many of the folks here heard about it and attended? Uh, Joel? Yeah. Thank you, Beto. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak about my experience that I had at the community forum in Queen Creek. Uh, like many people here, I found out at the last minute and did everything I could to get there. And to my knowledge, the community forum in Queen Creek was not advertised to the community. And when I showed up to Queen Creek Library, that was very noticeable. Because like Beto said, there was only three people there. One thing that I noticed as soon as I walked in was there were seven Maricopa County Sheriff's Officers and only three people. So as a citizen, I felt uncomfortable sharing how I felt and sharing my anger and frustration with the mockery that Sheriff Bill has been running with the racial profiling case. And uh, another subject that we want to, uh, to highlight is the fact that there's a, now a new community liaison officer. Uh, so, uh, and this particular officer has been involved in, in the very same, very same racial profiling raids that uh, got us into this situation. So, does anybody want to uh, express themselves about that? Paul? Yeah, I think it's very hypocritical that you would appoint somebody as a community liaison officer that, uh, to, to oversee what's been going on. Uh, and really kind of supposed to be reaching out to this community who's been the exact person who's been involved in, in enforcing what caused the lawsuit to happen in the first place. He's actually uh, Mr. Mar Officer Martinez's phone number, so we encourage everyone, everyone, uh, perhaps not right now, but to call him, to call him and tell him how you feel about this. As you can see from the picture, these are pictures from a photo gallery of the Arizona Republic, and uh, they, they, they basically took him from one of the traffic stop uh, raids that, uh, that our pilot did. And you can see him right there arresting Latinos. You can see him right there the way that Latinos look at him with fear. We don't believe that he's going to have the capacity to really liaise with our community and the sheriff's office. So thank you so much, Paul. Right. Oh, right. Right. So there was, there's only six officers, they said, in, in Maricopa County Sheriff's Department that speak fluent Spanish. He was one of the six. That's why he was selected, they said. Yeah, I, again, that's pretty shameful. Yeah, I just want to add one thing. I think this shows the degree to which Sheriff Arpaio is trying to make a mockery of this whole process exactly. of what the judge is ordered to do. Instead of doing a national search, which they do for these type of things, to get the most qualified person who has a history of understanding what racial profiling is, you know that what's the best practice, who has the courage and the experience to stand up to someone like Sheriff Arpaio in the own department, they went and hired someone, a low-level person. This gentleman probably came to work and did his job. At the same time, he's not the person that we need that can reach out to different members of the community. As someone who's part of the Latino community, I've yet to get a phone call in terms of from this new liaison to try to bring the Latino community together as, as well as other Latino leaders. So this is about us trying to send a message that this is, you know, it's not about, uh, you know, just trying to rearrange things. And this is about fundamental change in the sheriff's office, and Sheriff Rob Powell still has not heard the call. After hundreds of millions of dollars, after everything else has gone on, he still thinks he can get away with this type of tactics, right? Trying to put someone in there with a brown face who speaks the language to address the problem. That's not going to happen. That's right. Within the last three months, we found out uh, that uh, the monitoring costs for the next 18 months is going to have a price tag of 20, uh, close to $22 million, 21 point down. Now we have to pay $22 million over the next 18 months to babysit him, to make sure he doesn't violate the Constitution. This happens in a state that has continually cut education, right. continually cut CPS, continually cut foster care. How many teachers could this hire? How many social workers could this hire to show that CPS so that not one case goes uninvestigated, not one child abuse case goes uninvestigated? Shame. Shame. Shame, shame on him. Shame. 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 I want to express the fact that I am absolutely tired of Sheriff Joe Arpaio 
thinking that he is the power in this county and that he can do whatever he wishes without any sort of um, retribution on his part, without having to pay the piper. Uh, we've been paying for his mistakes and his blatant racism for years and years and years. And his media machine has cranked it up and twisted the effort so that it, half the people in this county don't even know the truth. And the truth is, he is the most expensive sheriff in the nation. He's a racist. He's been said so by a federal judge. And he needs a babysitter now to take care of him. He should be out of office. I'm absolutely tired of the reign of Joe Arpaio. That's right. Thank you so much. Well, uh, the, the, the title of America's Most Expensive Chair came from an editorial in the Arizona Republic. And there they delineate exactly in no uncertain terms why he's earned, earned uh, this title. We added a component in here, America's Most Racist and Expensive Chair. And at this point, uh, we'd like to, to hear from you and see if, if you all agree with this. Uh, do you all agree that he's uh, America's most racist and expensive sheriff? Absolutely. If you do, say aye. 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 Absolutely. So having said that, we are gonna we have an award for Sheriff Arpaio from the community forum. So Fred, could you please bring that? So we have this award for Sheriff Arpaio. The award, and what it is, it's something very simple. It's a bag of trash. That's what they get for more than. 30 million, almost close to 30 million dollars right now and only, that we found out only the last three months, that's what he gets for not wanting to move forward after being convicted of a racist, of being a racist. And uh, we're gonna give this award to Sheriff Arpaio, so if you could please rise up and come with me, uh, we're gonna award this to him. I'm gonna call real quick uh, liaison officer Martinez to see if he can personally, if he wants to come in liaise with the community right now. All right, so give me one job. second. That's his job, he should come out and talk to the community. I'm gonna put it on speakerphone as well, all right? Voice, no. leave a voice Officer Martinez, uh, citizens for Better Arizona and residents of Maricopa County are here uh, and we held a community forum and uh, we, frankly we were hoping that we were going to be here to liaise with us. Uh, so please give me a call. <coughs> All right. So having said that and, and, and hitting a mute point here, so please, uh, what's your name, sir? Sergeant Garland. Sergeant Garland. My name is Dr. Sutherland. We're citizens of Arizona. And, uh, we're here to reward this and share our pride for you. Please thank you. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, right. so we put it down there so it doesn't disrupt the business of the sheriff's office. Put uh -huh. it right down here and it'll be fine. All right. Thank oh, thank you so much. All right, folks. <laughs> We see right now that we've awarded Arpaio the America's the most racist and expensive sheriff. And at this point, Arpaio, as we said, Arpaio has the opportunity to move forward, the opportunity to really build trust with that community and rebuild trust with the community, and he does not seem to do so. So thank you so much for bringing your voices. This, uh, you're all the people here. This is the true, the true and the real community forum on Arpaio, and we're going to be here again. So thank you so much. and give yourself